Now, what is this? This is finasteride. Generic pro Propecia. Take once a day with one milligram. It keeps me from losing any more of my hair. If I stop taking this in about six months, all its benefits would cease and I'd start losing my hair up front. And if I waited too long and lost too, too much hair, if I got back on this, it would take six months to go back into a full effect. I would not regrow really up the hair up here the loss. I would only stop losing what was left of my hair. You get it? Now if I was losing hair in the back or up on top, it actually regrows hair. If you stop taking it in six months, the hair falls out. And I think it's a side effect because this what it, what this does is blocks the I, I don't know what it's called. Some three letter syllable THC testosterone. It blocks this. This blocks that from causing your heart hair follicle to shrink until it gets eventually disappears and the hair falls out for good. Doesn't come back. Dirt. Dang, what was that stuff called? Well, anyway, it takes, once you start taking it, it takes six months to go into full effect. And if you stop taking it after six months, you lose all benefits. So right now, as long as I can, I've been taking this since 1999. As long as I keep taking it, I don't have to worry, really, about Losing any more hair up front. But a month ago, I noticed, ow, a lump in my left breast. And immediately I thought, cancer, breast cancer. Because of the nine or so CAT scans I've had in the past year, because Clueless, dumbass doctors in, in the ER couldn't figure out that the de equilibrium I was having and the tingling on my right arm was not another stroke. I just found out that the tingling was caused by herniated discs in my neck and my back and the deep equilibrium might be inner ear fluid or what not the doc, the doc, the, my new doctor he's a brain he's, he's trying to find out he's going to give me some tests but I told him about this lump in my breast uh, a, a friend of mine said it might be just be a cyst from the medication because he, he said he had one I hope that's what it is but doc, my new doctor said what could be causing this lump in my breast is the finasteride I've been taking. I might have to give it up. I'm sorry. No can do. I had rather be a corpse in a coffin with a full head of hair. Having lived And oh, oh, another thing, I'm 42 years old, but I look 30. Some people think I have said I, I look in my 20s. I, I hope so. I think that's a side effect of this medication. in preventing the testosterone from, or whatever it is, from shrinking my hair follicles. It's also potential. Preventing the testosterone from turning my face into a grizzled, manly face. It's 
is helping me keep a baby face. No, uh, maybe not. I would hope not, because back in 1998, before I was taking this medication, when I was 25 and 26, girls thought I was either 18 or 19. But I'm going to keep taking the Nestroid until either I can get hair flap surgery by Dr. Richard Fleming in Beverly Hills or they can bring out this new cloning technique where they clone hair follicles and hair and turn it upside down and apply it in your head and it grows and keeps growing. Until either one of those happens, if I have to, I will keep going back and how many, however many times it takes to get breast cancer cut out of my breast so I can keep a full head of hair. And if I die from breast cancer, if I die with a full head of hair, freaking so be it. Now, what I'm about to say is hi hyperbole. I really don't mean this, but this is how strongly I feel about my hair. I had rather live my life with a full head of hair and die and go to hell and have to push a Chevy from one of hell to the other and back with a full head of, ha head of hair than live down here to be 200 years old, strong as a horse, without my hair, with the thin hair up front. Yes? Gail just wants to take a peek at your room. Oh, nice. Okay. Tigers. Oh, boy. Tigers. You love the tigers. Well, they were here all, all, all the time. Jamie was so welcome. <laughs> okay, that's, that's mostly the bed that went to you. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then the computer table, that's Chris. And then my favorite song, Boom Clap yeah. for Charlie XCX. Oh, that's serious. You'll blow me on that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we're, ha we're ha having to do some, you know, short out my grandparents' items because my grandma passed away when I was in jail November 9th. Of, la of last year, 2014, and my granddaddy passed away January 1st of this year. What a hell of a New Year's present. But me, I too would rather pass away with a head full of hair and have to look bald, bald as there is nothing uglier in all of nature than a man with thin hair. Somebody told me it's the new style. Screw your new style. It's only trendy. It won't be the new style tomorrow. Look, good looks is biological. It's programmed into the DNA because of the reason people want to screw good looking people is because it's the gene pool, it's, it's the drive of the gene pool propagate the species. The strongest will survive. Survival of the fittest. The weak must die out. In order that the species not go extinct. If I have to have breast cancer every year and get it cut out, have a full head of hair, damn it, Thank God I got Medicare and Medicaid. I had rather die full head of hair than live with any without my hair hair up front. Even if I get hair flap surgery, I'm going to keep taking this just to make sure I don't lose it. The only way I will stop this is if I can get that clone 
hair, bald, with gray clothing. 